Hello my dear friends, welcome back to your channel of learning on request and as I had promised uh, I would be doing starting a special series on uh, different topics where I'll be trying to give you the shortcuts uh, which will be really beneficial and helpful uh, for you in the future and as we know lockdown season is I mean not season sorry lockdown is going on so many of you may not be able to attend coachings uh, here and there so don't worry I am here to help you out with the little knowledge that I have as much as I uh, can uh, this uh, the shortcut approaches uh, these are like uh, to be honest I've gone through different textbooks many textbooks actually many books and then I've collected all the topics just for you uh, I've summarized the uh, you know shortcuts after going through many many books so that you don't really have to go through many books uh, because I have done that for you so on this topic, I will be today starting off with shortcut tricks on time, speed and uh, distance. So this is a very common topic you will find in almost every examinations like railways examinations, civil services, even joint entrance examinations like engineering and medical examinations on physics papers, uh, banking examinations. So these are like very common topics and uh, topics are also very easy also. But it's very time consuming if you do not know the shortcuts and sometimes it's almost impossible to solve also. So we waste all the time. So what I've done is I have uh, collected about 16 to 20 shortcut tricks on this top particular topic. And once this topic is done, I'll move on to another topic. If you, my dear uh, watchers and subscribers, if you uh, like this video. So after watching the full video, if you like this video, please do let me know in the comment section below. Please do subscribe and do like this. A channel and share as much as uh, possible so today I'm going to be doing giving you around about four uh, shortcut approaches and if you like it definitely I will be encouraged to give you more so the topic that we will be starting off today would be <clears throat> based on shortcut tricks on time uh, speed and uh, distance so the first sh approach is questions like this that is a man takes X hours to walk a distance, certain distance, to walk a certain place, to walk to a certain place and ride back. However, if he walks both ways, he takes T hours more. Then the time taken by him to ride both ways would be X minus T hours. So we might not be very clear with what it really means, but I'm sure that this example will definitely help you. You'll find this very common, okay, in almost every examinations. That is, I, for example, I walk a certain distance, I walk a certain distance, I walk a certain distance and ride back again. So this time I'm walking and then next time I'm riding. And altogether it is taking me six and a half hours. So that is as mentioned here, a man takes X hours to walk to a certain place and ride back. So here X is six and a half hours. So that's going to be 13 by 2 hours i could walk both ways in seven by three hours so i'll just write here time taken to in the exams no need to write this because once you get to know no you can i'm just explaining that to you time taken to walk let's say both ways please don't mind my handwriting it's horrible i know that <laughs> so that's like seven three by four hours so that's four seven thirty twenty eight to nine thirty thirty one thirty one by four hours how long would it take me to write both ways just to walk both ways it takes me 13 by 2 hours how long would it take me to write both ways definitely it's going to take lesser time but how do we find out that x minus t but what is t here t hours more t hours more definitely when i was walking both ways i took more hours isn't it more hours this is time taken to walk and write back so i've taken just to walk both ways i've taken 31 by 4 hours so um let's say time taken extra time taken or like say time taken more that would be actually t that would be 31 minus 4 minus 13 by 2 this is walking and riding back and this is uh, walking both ways so definitely walking both ways will take more time right so by taking the lcm for that 31 minus 2 26 that is of course 5 by four hours so this is the time taken more so definitely how long will it take me to write both ways x minus t hours so time taken to write both ways that is x minus t what is x this one x hours to walk and to write back that is 13 by 2 minus time taken more 5 by 4 so if we simplify this 26 minus 5 
21 by 4 so if you go for mixed fraction i hope all of you are clear with mixed fraction 4 5s are 21 left so that's 5 1 by 4 hours that is like 5 hours 1 by 4 means quarter of an hour so that's going to be 15 minutes isn't it because half hour means 30 minutes i hope you can understand that 1 by 4 means 15 minutes so these are like uh, as you have seen, I have again uh, actually done a previous video that was done a long back ago. So where I have given you some more trips or uh, tick, tricks on that. You can kindly watch th uh, that video also. I'll uh, send you the. Uh, I'll put in the link below in the description box. All right, fine. You can pause the video here if you wish to write. In the meantime, I'll move on to the next topic. Okay, the next shortcut approach would be this. This is also a very interesting question. That is. A person goes to a destination at a speed of x kilometer per hour, initial point, let's say destination, and returns to his place at a speed of y kilometers per hour. If he takes again t time t hours in all, then this time the distance between his place and the destination, this distance, how much is the distance? There's nothing mentioned about distance. And that formula is given by x into y divided by x plus y into t, total time taken. In other words, required distance we can simply find by total time taken into product of the two speeds divided by addition of the two speeds. Very simple. Example, this will clarify things. A man rode out a certain distance by train at a speed of 25 km per hour. So this time he first travels by train at 25 km per hour. He walks back, this time he walks back at the rate of 4 km per hour. Question is the whole journey, no train going and then again walking back, the whole journey took 5 hours 48 minutes. So let's say total time taken, that would be our T here. Total time taken is 5 hours 48 minutes so that can be written as 548 by 60 fraction isn't it or you can add plus also doesn't matter that's different ways of solving it so that would be um, 12 fours are 48 12 five so that's 5 4 by 5 so 29 by 5 hours so this is the total time taken that is 29 by <clears throat> 5 hours find the distance did what distance did he write so this is the distance that he wrote total distance simple so sorry so the required distance what will be the required distance required distance is the total time taken into product of the two speeds x into y divided by addition of the two speeds so total time taken 29 by 5 into x is the speed of uh, you know the First speed that is by train, 25, into walking back, 4, 25 plus 4. So that would be, okay, 5, 1, 5, 5. So that's like 29 into 5 into 4 divided by 29. So that's like 20. This would be kilometers. So the total distance, uh, total distance that he write this distance or this it's all the same this distance is how much 20 kilometers I hope that's fine okay you can pause the video there and you can write it down if you wish all right okay let's move to the next I've prepared four uh, shortcut tips approaches for today okay this is a very interesting question you will find this very common those who have been appearing um, you know competitive examinations and all you will know this question and I'll tell you a very funny thing about this if a certain distance is covered at x kilometer per hour and the same distance is covered at y kilometer per hour then the average speed during the whole journey so that suppose like this is the distance and then from here to here he covers at x kilometer from here to here he covers as y kilometer per hour then the average speed for the whole journey is this formula you know what happens most of the times I think you must have come across if you have come across please do let me know in the comment section below most of the times since it says it says average most of the times what we do is okay average hello x plus y divided by 2 and we get the answer which is which happens to be wrong so I'm sure after watching this video you're not going to make that mistake you will be earning one mark so this is the formula example very simple question Manish covers a certain distance by car uh, by driving at 35 km per hour he returns at back 
to the same starting point riding on a scooter this time with a speed of 25 km per hour so okay from this time this time 35 km this is by car comes back again by scooter scooter by 25 km per hour find the average speed for the whole journey simple so average speed this time please don't do 35 plus 25 divided by 2 okay so it's going to be twice into x into y divided by x plus y so that's going to be twice into x x x 35 into y y 25 35 plus 25 so that's 2 into 35 into 25 divided by 1060 so we'll have to just simplify this a little bit that is 2 30 5 5 5 6 so 5 5 is 25 to left 175 by 6 this is the average speed so 175 by 6, 6 2 is a 12, 55, 6 um, 9s are 54, 1 0, 1 6, 4 0. So that would be 6 5s are 30. Okay, approximately kilometers per hour, 29.15 kilometers. Of course, if you go for 3 decimal, 6 sorry 66 six, sorry 6636 six, so 29.16 kilometers per hour all right so please next time be sure to get that one mark all right okay so we move to the next question then okay all right this will be the final question for today here goes the question that is if a person does a journey in t hours so he does a journey in t hours The first half at S1 km per hour, second half at S2 km per hour. What is the distance that he has traveled? Very simple question again, but difficult to find out. If you do not know, it might take you a very long time. That is, let's see. A car covers a distance of six, in 16 hours. A car covers a certain distance in 16 hours. So here, T is 16 hours. It covers the half the distance at 40 km per hour. 40 km per hour. The rest at 60 km per hour. Find the length of the journey. Length of the journey we do not know. But we know X, let's say S1 is 40 km per hour. S2, 60 km per hour. So distance, since I have given you the formula, tell or directly 2 into t into s1 into s2 divided by ah, s1 plus s2 so that's like 2 into 16 into what is s1 40 into 60 divided by 40 plus 60 so that's like 32 into 40 into 60 divided by 100 1 2 1 2 so that's like 32 into 6 4 are 24 so 32 into 6 4 are 24 4 3 are 8, 4 3 are 12, 2 3 are 4, 2 3 are 6, 8 6 7, 768 kilometers. That's how you will be finding out. So these are very, very common questions. Okay, these are very, very common questions. You should know the trick. Less than a minute, your job is done here. Of course, I've explained in the exams. If you remember, you, want to, you can just do it directly. All right. So my dear friends, uh, this is it for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please do let me know so that i will be motivated to do more on this topic uh, more topics are actually prepared but if you really like it please do like the video subscribe and share and do let me know in the comment section below so that i will be definitely uh, motivated to do more videos for you because you are everything for me uh, because everything is done for you for your cause only so if it has really helped you please do let me know uh, so that as i say i will be motivated uh, to do more videos because without your support uh, all this would be really futile so i expect and i hope that you like this video till then i'll see you in the next video if you like this video as you know like subscribe and share so all right then till then take care stay safe see you all in the next video